This is Cameron Chai from azom.com bringing you another episode of Azo TV. And today we're speaking to Dan Walsh from Spectro Inc. And he's going to show us their Spectro Visc Q3000 kinematic viscometer. Thank you, Cam. I'm very pleased to show everybody our latest uh, product introduction that we introduced just in October of last year. This is the world's first portable kinematic viscometer. It's a very simple portable system, can be designed and handled very easily. Okay and you can bring it anywhere on a job site. So one of the things that we often had is, is who needs portable viscometer? A lot of times people need to have an immediate viscosity check for their critical equipment when they are in a situation where they need to have answers straight away. And one of the biggest challenges is getting good, reliable kinematic viscosity easily in a solvent-free mode with, with very little sample available. And this is the device here that we have. So it's a very simple system. It's designed essentially to have a touch-tone screen. It's got a sampling cell cartridge, which we're going to show you here in a little minute. It's battery operated and uh, very easy to use and multi-language support. So very straightforward. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is just show you how we actually go about setting it up. And the nice thing about it is, is that the system walks us through the sampling process so that we have little to no training. So very simple to start it off. It says remove the cell, clean both plates. So what we do here is we lift the sampling cartridge cell, open it out. It's a split cell thing. We simply wipe it through clean to make sure it's, it's good. It says insert the clean cell into the system. So while it's warming up like that, okay, it asks us to load the sample. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of sample. And then simply introduce the sample into the chamber. And immediately, as soon as the sample hits the sensors, it starts to measure. So what we're doing is it's doing, it's slowing down a capillary cell and it actually has timers on there. So as the fluid is flowing down, it's, it's measuring the timing. And the, the principle of the system is known as the Heleshaw viscosity technique, which essentially says is that the velocity of the fluid flowing down between two, heated, between two parallel plates is, is related to the viscosity of the fluid. Straight away, here's the result, 13.3 centistokes at 40 degrees C, heated. And the green light there says that there were no air bubbles in that sample. Hey presto, we're ready to go. So the system is very easy. Just and here's the great feature. You because you only use three or four drops, simply wipe clean. And you're ready to go for the next sample. So that's all it is to it. You can do, you use this for hydraulic fluids, turbine fluids, um, engine oils, and you'll get viscosity at 40 degrees C, straightforward, quickly to run. When you're finished, just turn it down, bring it up, bring it around, and bring it to anywhere you need. And that's all there is to it. Okay, it obviously only needs very small sample volumes to, to take measurements? Yes. Only three to four drops of fluid, and that's all you need. And just have, a, have some sort of a disposable pad available to you once you're finished, and that's all you need to do. So solvent-free, does not need any consumables, less waste, less solvent worries. You can bring it out, and as you can see, anybody can run with the sample, and it's got multi-language support. So depending on what language or area that you want to go to, just have it preloaded so that anybody can run and get a good result straight away and then they can take that result and compare it immediately to what they're currently getting from their oil analysis lab and there's no need for any conversions or, in, or looking for specific gravity readings or for any evidence of, of temperature checks that they're currently out there on existing uh, portable systems or any uh, field uh, based viscosity systems that are out there at the moment. Okay, and it's battery operated. How many about how many readings can it do, or how long how long does the battery last? It, what we're seeing is about six hours of runtime. So look at you just saw how many how quickly it was to run a sample there. So based off of that you're talking quite a lot of samples that you can run and then charge it when you want. You can also operate it when it's in the charge mode. So, so you, can, you can plug it into a power you adapter? Plug and it into run. a power adapter and run it as needed. And what about uh, 
downloading results into, does it store results? No, it does not store results. So what we have here is the results here, you just read them off and you either write them down or if you have our companion fluid scan system, there is now a feature on the software for fluid scan which will allow you to enter that viscosity data into that database and then that can get uploaded to the desktop um, fluid scan manager software. All right, Dan. Thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the new Spectro Visc Q3000. If anybody wants more information about that, they can find that on your website. Yes, sir. www.spectroinc.com. All right, Dan. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.